चुप 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 ओ हेलो Hey guys, good morning. Today is Sunday, November 13th, I believe. And I am determined to make this a full vlog. The last three days I've started videos and just have been unable to finish them. My mood has been a little down in the dumps lately, but things are looking up. I finished with all my exams. I have, this is the first time in like two months that I don't have an exam that's looming over my head all week. And that is something that I have needed so bad. I just need just a mental break. As y'all can see, I know that y'all have seen some of my videos that I'm just mentally worn down. And I am. So, knowing that I don't have any exams this week is the biggest relief I think I've ever had. <laughs> now that I've got that out of the way, I am starting off my day with a large cup of coffee, coffee, a serving of heavy whipping cream, a little bit of sugar-free vanilla syrup that I'm trying to get rid of, and some stevia. And this is what I need because I feel like I can't keep my eyes open because I just rolled out of bed. It is actually like fall weather here in Texas today. It's a cool, crisp air out here. Well, not that cool. It's probably like 60s. Probably 60s, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, coffee is so nice right now. Hey, Bo. Do you want to go get the squirrel? Get him! Get him, Bo, get him! Maisie! Hi, Maisie! You little psycho doll. You little psycho doll. Do you want to check out our tent setup? Look at that. It looks like a little circus tent in our backyard. But because we were having problems with hawks, this keeps the girls a little less scared if they have something to hide under. Right, lady? Trouble, look at how ugly your hair is. It looks like you got the mange. It looks like you got the mange. <laughs> this was as good as my mom could get his hair cut without, before she, he mauled her. Right, Trouble Bear? Trouble, look at that. <laughs> You're so ugly, but I love you. It's now about noon. And I'm about to whip me up something to eat for breakfast, and then I'm going to head to the gym because I don't want to lift on an empty stomach. But check out my cool Reign of Righteousness tee. I'll put their link down below. I love this shirt. Such an awesome message that they are sending with their company. But I'm going to find some food, then I'm going to go lift, and then I'm going to go to the grocery store to get stuff because I'm going to make a meal prep video so that I stay on track this week and don't screw up my diet. So, I'm going to make a video about that. We're going to whip up some food. It's going to be a good day. So what do you want to say? I need some food. You need some food? Chicka, 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 chicka. Do you all want some bread? You want some toast? Can y'all not find the toast? Where's the toast? Eat the toast I just gave y'all. Crazy girls. I don't have anything else. I just threw y'all down toast. Are you not are you not appreciative of the toast? No? Okay. What's up, ladies? Eat the toast. It turns out the chickens are not very appreciative of their toast. Very sorry to disappoint, ladies. Very sorry. Mom caught me eating the chicken's bread, and now I won't let her get anywhere near me. Because I know I did something wrong. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that. He knows he did bad. <laughs> Bo. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. You are so bad. 
I've got 128 grams of avocado, and then we're going to attempt to make an omelet in this Tupperware thing. There's two eggs, an ounce of sausage, and a serving of cheddar jack cheese. We're going to microwave this and see what happens. I just made me a breakfast, but of course, while I was in the middle of breakfast, we decided that we're all going to Jimmy John's to get unwitched sandwiches. Oh well, I'm going to eat this and I'll eat my unwitch later. But I got like 130 grams of avocado. Basically, I just cut up in whole avocado, get some healthy fats in, and then I used this little Tupperware thing to make that omelet. It was two eggs, an ounce of breakfast sausage, and a serving of cheddar jack cheese. I microwaved it, then toasted it, so I got my little egg thing. And I'm going to numb on this, and it's going to be fabulous. When you order enough sandwiches at Jimmy John's, that you get a box. Let me just take my box home with me. We are going grocery shopping at the Kroger. Lord help me. This place is a madhouse on a Sunday. <sighs> update we have now like bought out Kroger like we do every single week hey come here I got me and my Jimmy John's what what does it say it says enter uh swipe your card or enter alternate ID got my Jimmy John's unsweet iced tea and this is my second unsweet iced tea and I'm gonna have to pee like a racehorse soon I'm just waiting for it but we're getting gas at the Krog and uh -huh. I need to eventually go to the gym and I need to eventually do a lot of stuff. So we'll see what happens. I still don't know. Catherine, I don't know how to do this. What's the do y'all want some worms? Y'all want some worms? Come here. Some worms. Hold on. Hold on. Ow! <laughs> worms for everyone. Chicken, you look so ugly. <laughs> Where did all your feathers go? Ow, that's my skin, not a worm. Ow, okay. Chicka chicka. Ow. Okay, here. I'm here. So, I decided that I'm going to go try and get some pictures. But before... I'm going to have just a bite or two of my Jimmy John's. I got the same thing I got the other day. A number 12, which is like turkey and avocado and mayo. I had them omit the cucumbers and tomatoes. And had them wrap it in lettuce. And it's real good. Hey there, guys. It is now like 530. Where has this day gone? I don't know. But the family is about to come over. We are cooking hamburgers for dinner. So, I'm going to go ahead and eat me a burger, and then I have a two-hour drive back to College Station. It's going to be a long night, but I don't think I have that much homework to do. So, oh well, oh well. I have no exams this week, so that's all I have to look forward to. I'm going to work out every day. I'm going to meal prep. I think I'm going to do that tomorrow morning once I get home from class because... My homework will be done. I won't be sitting there trying to work on it. I won't have an exam. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Jim, I have one more full week of school and then it's Thanksgiving and it's just so exciting. So exciting, so exciting, so exciting. Can y'all tell that my mood is improved? Because I think it is. The last couple of days, to be completely honest, miserable. I called my mom Thursday night having just an absolute mental breakdown. Just about everything, school, classes, just it's been really weighing heavily on me. That's for sure. The last four days I'm just not that sure. I know I have not eaten keto like probably any of those days. I've just turned to food for comfort and that's a horrible, horrible thing that I do. And I'm trying to fix it. So I guess the first step to fixing your problem is admitting you have one. And I have a problem. So, working on it. 
The pool cleaner just sprayed me, or tried to spray me. Oh, that was scary. And I just caught that on camera, me reacting. Okay, I'll check in with y'all when we cook dinner. Jimmy John's, Jimmy Jones. How about we all play LCR? Bread sandwich. I'm gonna go breadless, cause um, wow, I ate. Right over there, here's your burger coming up. What is that? Hey guys, it's now eight o'clock. Little time's gone by, and me and Mr. Bo are headed back to College Station. So I want to get back until around 10 at least, hoping that we don't hit any traffic. I've got a long list of to-dos when I get home, so it's going to be a late night. But it's all good. It's all good. So I've got my iced coffee I'm going to sip on. Keep me awake on this long drive in the dark. And I've got my cute little puppy who's super pumped to come home with me. Oh, I just love you so much. Don't lean away from my love. Don't lean away from my love. It's 10.02 and we just pulled back up in College Station. Bo slept the entire way. You got some nice sleep. Didn't even lift his head once. Why are you so twitchy? Why are you so twitchy? Twitchy? <laughs> You're so strange. You're so strange. Hey guys, so it's now pretty late at night. It's like 11 o'clock at night. And I just wanted to close out this video real quick. But one thing I wanted to talk about is this past week, um, I just wanted to talk about some of the struggles I was facing. So just this past week, like I have been so heavily involved in school and just like trying to do so much, putting so much on my plate. And I've obviously been sacrificing sleep for that. And I don't know, something about this past week, I had three exams. It just all kind of came crashing down on me, just emotions wise. I think I just finally like hit that point where I just mentally broke down. And I'll be completely honest with you, I was struggling with binge eating. I just, I guess something about me, I just turned to food in times of stress, which is a horrible thing. And it's something that I just like couldn't control. And like, I, I don't know, I've definitely been off keto for like four days now because I just like couldn't help myself. I couldn't stop eating or just like, I don't know, I think I just got so stressed that it just affected me so bad. But with that being said, all I can do now is just pick myself up and you know, keep moving along. This is my first time in like two months where I don't have an exam this week. I have homework and a quiz, but to not have an exam looming over my head after the week I had last week is the biggest just sigh of relief that I could have ever asked for. And then next week is Thanksgiving, so I get three days off of school for that. And I am just very, very thankful that school is kind of, I get a little bit of a break because I need to catch up on sleep. Things are looking up now. I'm feeling a lot better just mentally. I have not worked out in three or four days now and I'm just very excited to get back into the gym, to get back doing keto, what I love, what makes me feel good. And so I just thought I would be real with y'all, kind of share some of the struggles that I have been facing. Because binge eating, that is an eating disorder. When you just physically can't stop consuming food or like wanting to hide food, just like gorging yourself, like it's horrible. And it's just like a voice in my head. And so trying to get a handle on it, that's why tomorrow I will be making a video about meal prepping. And so when I am urging to get food, I have my healthy keto meals in the fridge. I don't have to cook anything. They're gonna be right there for me to grab. But 
I'm not expecting this week to just mentally wear me down as much as last week did. So, there we go. But on that note, I am going to wrap this video up. And I want to thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support, your kind words. It just truly means the world to me. And I appreciate it more than you could ever know. So, I wanted to throw that in there. I hope that you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you all again in my next video. Bye, guys.